Hello lovely viewers and welcome to Neblu Healthy. Here we post videos every day from Monday to Saturday at 8 a.m. My name is Neblu Leon and today we're embarking on a transformative journey to prioritize one of the most vital organs in our bodies, our heart. In this special series, or oh, four weeks to a healthier heart, we will guide you through a comprehensive plan to boost your cardiovascular wellness. Are you ready to invest in your heart's health? Let's get started. What does your heart mean to you? It's a question we seldom ask ourselves, yet it's one of the most crucial components of our well-being. The heart, our life's rhythm keeper, is an organ that works tirelessly, pulsating life throughout our bodies. Understanding our hearts involves delving into our family's medical history. It's like a puzzle, each piece revealing a part of our genetic blueprint. Our genes may predispose us to certain heart conditions, but this doesn't mean we're destined to develop them. By knowing our risks, we can take proactive steps to prevent potential heart issues. Regular checkups with healthcare providers are another fundamental aspect of heart health. These visits allow us to monitor vital heart health markers like blood pressure and cholesterol levels. High blood pressure or hypertension can strain the heart over time, leading to conditions like heart disease. Similarly, high cholesterol levels can block blood flow, putting us at risk for heart attacks and strokes. But these conditions can be managed and often prevented with early detection and appropriate care. Let's not forget the role our lifestyles play in heart health. Certain habits like smoking and excessive alcohol consumption can harm our hearts. Cigarette smoke narrows the arteries, reducing blood flow to the heart, while excessive alcohol can lead to high blood pressure and heart failure. But the good news is, it's never too late to quit these habits and make healthier choices. Stress too can impact our hearts. Prolonged stress can lead to high blood pressure and other heart-related issues. But by adopting stress management techniques, like meditation or deep breathing, we can help protect our hearts from the adverse effects of stress. Remember, our hearts are resilient. They can bounce back from damage, given the right care and attention. Making small changes to our lifestyles can have a significant impact on our heart health. After all, every heartbeat matters. Knowledge is power when it comes to heart health. So let's empower ourselves with the right information, make heart-friendly choices, and build a foundation for a healthier heart. How does your plate look like? When it comes to heart health, nutrition is key. Imagine your plate as a canvas, each food group adding a splash of color and a host of nutrients. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and dairy products are the five pillars of a heart-healthy diet. They work in harmony, providing your heart with the nourishment it needs to function optimally. Let's delve into the world of heart-healthy nutrition. The DASH diet, or Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension, is a renowned eating plan designed to lower blood pressure and cholesterol levels. It encourages a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and low-fat dairy products. This combination not only protects your heart but also adds vibrancy and variety to your meals. As we journey through the DASH diet, we'll explore superfoods known for their heart-protective benefits. Think berries bursting with antioxidants, oily fish packed with omega-3 fatty acids, and nuts rich in heart-healthy fats. These foods are not only nutritious but also delicious, making it a joy to eat heart-healthy meals. But it's not just about the foods you eat, it's also about how much you eat. Portion control is a crucial aspect of heart-healthy nutrition. By being mindful of your portion sizes, you can avoid overeating and maintain a healthy weight, reducing the strain on your heart. Eating mindfully is another important aspect of heart-healthy nutrition. It involves paying attention to what you're eating, savoring each bite, and listening to your body's hunger and fullness cues. By eating mindfully, you can enjoy your meals more and feel satisfied with less. And let's not forget the power of cooking techniques. The way you prepare your meals can significantly impact their nutritional content. Steaming, grilling, and baking are excellent cooking methods that retain the nutrients in your food. So, ditch the deep fryer and embrace these heart-healthy cooking techniques. Remember, your heart is a reflection of your diet. So make mindful food choices, savor your meals, and nourish your heart from the inside out. Your heart is what you eat. When was the last time you moved not just your body, but your heart? This question may sound a bit poetic, but it's literally what we're going to discuss today. Physical activity is not just about keeping your body in shape, it's about keeping your heart healthy too. 
let's talk about the heart benefits of physical activity. Regular exercise helps reduce the risk of heart disease by improving your cardiovascular fitness. It helps lower high blood pressure, reduce bad cholesterol, and increase good cholesterol. Plus, it aids in weight control and promotes mental well-being. But what kind of exercise benefits your heart? Aerobic exercises like walking, running, cycling, and swimming are fantastic for your cardiovascular system. These activities get your heart rate up and improve your heart's efficiency over time. But don't forget about strength training. It plays a crucial role in heart health by helping to control weight and combat lifestyle diseases. And remember, it's not just about doing exercises, it's about doing them right. That's where the concept of heart rate zones comes in. Your heart rate zones are ranges within which your heart should beat to achieve different training effects. The zones vary based on your age and fitness level, and monitoring them helps you adjust your exercise intensity for optimal results. Now, we know that getting started with regular exercise can be challenging. Barriers like lack of time, low motivation, or physical discomfort might hinder your progress. But don't worry, we've got strategies to overcome these hurdles. Start small and gradually increase your activity levels. Find activities you enjoy and consider getting a workout buddy for motivation. If you're experiencing physical discomfort, seek professional advice to ensure you're exercising safely. So are you ready to move your heart for better health? Establish a fitness plan tailored to your needs, incorporating both aerobic and strength training exercises. And remember to monitor your heart rate zones to optimize your workout intensity. A stronger heart begins with a regular movement. It's time to get up, get moving, and give your heart the care it deserves. Let's make heart health a priority together. What does peace of mind mean to you? Peace of mind is not just about feeling calm and relaxed. It's about creating a harmonious balance between our mental and physical health. That's why in our final week, we're going to explore the profound connection between stress, mindfulness, and the health of your heart. Chronic stress is a silent assassin. It sneaks up on us, quietly wreaking havoc on our cardiovascular system. Stress triggers our body's fight or flight response, which in turn, increases our heart rate and blood pressure. Over time, this can contribute to the wear and tear of our heart and blood vessels. That's why managing stress is crucial for maintaining a healthy heart. But how do we manage stress? One powerful way is through mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being present in the moment, consciously aware of our thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations without judgment. It's like hitting the pause button on life's remote control, allowing us to step back and observe our experiences rather than getting swept away in them. Practicing mindfulness can help us respond to stressful situations more effectively. It allows us to recognize stress signals early and take action to mitigate them. Techniques such as deep breathing, progressive muscle relaxation, and guided imagery can help reduce stress levels and promote relaxation. Beyond stress reduction, mindfulness brings about a sense of inner peace and contentment. It encourages us to appreciate the here and now, fostering a positive mindset that can contribute to our heart health. Simple practices like mindful eating, mindful movement, and even mindful communication can be incorporated into our daily lives, helping us live more consciously and healthfully. Remember, our hearts don't just pump blood, they're deeply connected to our emotions and mental state. By managing stress and embracing mindfulness, we're not just improving our heart health, we're enhancing our overall well-being. Peace of mind leads to a healthier heart. So let's commit to nurturing our minds just as we do our hearts and enjoy the journey towards a healthier, happier life. What did we learn in the past four weeks about heart health? A lot indeed. We've been on an enlightening journey, delving deep into the world of heart health. In the first week, we gained a fundamental understanding of our heart's workings. We learned that knowing our family's medical history is crucial to preemptively guard against potential heart issues. Regular checkups, understanding heart health markers like blood pressure and cholesterol levels are part of this proactive approach. The effects of lifestyle factors such as smoking, alcohol consumption, and stress on our heart health cannot be overstated. Then, we stepped into the kitchen during the second week exploring the heart-healthy DASH diet. We discovered that nutrition is not just about what we eat, but also how we prepare our meals. We learned about superfoods, the importance of portion control, and mindful eating. Let's not forget the power of fiber, antioxidants, and healthy fats in maintaining optimal heart health. 
Week three got us moving. The importance of physical activity in our heart health journey became clear. We discovered the different types of exercises beneficial for our cardiovascular system, from aerobic activities to strength training. We learned how to monitor our exercise intensity through heart rate zones and strategies to overcome common barriers to physical activity. In the final week, we connected the dots between our mind and heart. Stress management and mindful living emerged as vital elements in maintaining heart health. We learned that our mental well-being is as crucial as our physical health in keeping our hearts happy and healthy. So what's next? It's time to put these lessons into practice. Adopting a heart-healthy lifestyle isn't just about adding years to your life, but also life to your years. It's about feeling good, having energy, and being in a position to enjoy all life has to offer. Remember, every journey begins with a single step. Take the first step towards a healthier heart today. Your heart will thank you for it. Thank you for tuning in today. Stay tuned for week one of four weeks to a healthier heart, now with even more in-depth content. And until then, take care of your heart, take care of yourself, and stay heart healthy.